Hello, hi, welcome. My name is Dee, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing a video of story time of scammers. I've been scammed multiple times. I don't know if it's ungovernable or they just are attracted to me. So I am going to do that. But also on top of it, I'm going to be doing my makeup while saying my stories. Now, this first one, I'm going to be looking here because I'm also, like, this is my computer, my laptop's here, and we're going to be talking and also looking at that so I can know what I'm talking about because this has been, this happened last year, um, January, like, here it says January 24th, but this is most likely the day where, like, I was, like, fed up or whatever and talked about it. Also, this is not the only thing that happened to me. That whole week, I got scammed twice. And then recently, I got scammed too, but there's a good... Good things happened right after. Everything was fixed. This one still hasn't been fixed, and it caused me a lot of problems then. And honestly, I just want to talk about it so that way this doesn't happen to you. There's a lot of signs here that say you know this is bad so i wanted to put it out there that it happens to a lot of people including me and i'm going to talk about the signs and how to prevent not really prevent but more so realize what's going on so if i squint or have this in front of my face it's because i can't see but um yeah i just have my glasses on but I can't see, so just note that I'm going to be squinting a lot in this video. And also, okay, so I didn't have enough space, but now I do, so we're good. Here it is. Let's, let's start. I will also be pu putting right here a lot of screenshots, so this is why I'm a little off-centered. And also, this is my first ever video posting on YouTube, so just bear with me. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be putting everything on the side here. And also proof or whatever so that way you can know what i am using and i'll also put in the link description box below anyways this happened in january uh around like january 15th where i was trying to sell a dress because i had this dress for a really long time i didn't like how it was fitting on me and i was like oh i need the extra money might as well go ahead and try and sell it online i think i sold it on poshmark which i've never really sold anything on these types of websites so i didn't really know how to work with it um and the thing is that a lot of um scammers would see that you didn't work like if this is a new post or whatever also this this was a dress that was like 100 something the price tag on it i got this as a gift i didn't actually purchase this dress but i wanted to sell it and it still hasn't been sold so if you want it but this is not for that but you know if i can make that extra income that would be great but yeah so i was just trying to make some coin try and figure out how to make some coin because I honestly didn't have money. I was going through a time where I was basically super broke and I was also not in school and you know when you're not in school and you're super broke your parents are like you need to do something with your life if not then you are just nothing or just like you're just not good you're lazy you're a freeloader like all these other things and a lot of things led up to this point where i was just desperate to make money it was i just wanted to make money but the right way obviously um i wanted to get a job i wanted to sell things that i had easy money but not like bad way to make easy money because i honestly didn't need the stress the stress I felt like it didn't flatter me at all, so I was like, you know what, someone else might want this. So I get an offer, and first red flag, this person messaged me 
saying, oh, can you email me? No. Email me for questions. And I'm like, I get it. Poshmark doesn't really have like a way to message the person. Well, I don't think so. I know McCart does because I sold a lot of things on McCart. It's a different story for a different day. Um, so I know they have it, but Poshmark, I don't think it does. So I was like, oh, they might have questions. So this person asked like, oh, what's the length of the dress? Like, what size is it? I'm like, oh, I, I want to get this for my daughter or something like that. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I sold it on Poshmark and this person was like to email them about the listing answers they had. Oh, I really can't see what it says here. Anyways. Okay. Wait, actually I can see it um it's me the seller of the dress um it's a white strapless prom dress the slit i emailed you to answer your question about the length of the dress i do not know exactly the length of the dress but i said um the model so that way it seems a little bit more fitting even though i'm the model i said my height and it goes past her heels without the um past her toes without heels Please email me back with many questions as you wish. I will reply as soon as possible. Oh, this is going south real quick because I cannot see. Uh, I should have just used my tablet. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's what I emailed back. I can't seem to go back. Anyways, okay, I went back. Um, And that's not a weird question. I mean, that's a pretty good question. So I didn't think anything of it and i emailed back and then this person's this is like this is the part where it starts getting weird and i also put that there and then like thank you for getting back i don't mind adding an extra 30 dollars for holding the dress for my daughter and i'm gonna pay you with a cash or check now this is what scammers do they go ahead and give you a cash or check but when you cash it in Okay, so they send you a check, um, and when they send you the check, you go ahead, have to deposit, and then they give you a check that's larger than the amount, so that way, when you send it back, you're sending your own money because it's a fake check, so it's bouncing, and the real amount that's coming out is the amount that you have in your bank. So basically, this person's like, oh, my daughter's in the hospital, like, she really wants a stress, but I currently don't have the money. Can I like send you a cash or check? But the cash or check is going to be like larger amount. Like my husband sent the wrong amount. Like, can you please help me? Like I send more than I'm supposed to. Blow Look at my face right now. Look at how horrible it is. This is a lie. <laughs> like it's purely a lie. Due to my husband being Issuer security is going to issue a payment out to you as soon as you receive the payment have the money in hand I'll send it back to me Get back to me with your full name and address to receive the payment for me. Thanks. I'm like Like there's a lot of red flags, but I just completely like I always have this Good intuition, but the moment like I don't listen to it. So it's like what are you doing like bro? Then I was like, that, okay, that's fine. You don't have to give me an extra 30 for the hold. My name is blah, blah, blah. My address is blah, blah, blah. I honestly have this whole thread on Twitter. Um, so I was just, re I'm reading it off there. Um, and then they were like, I also need your phone number for better communication. And what is the total amount? Bro, 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 bro. I'm just like... There's so many red flags, and I just continuously ignore them? Like, what is wrong? Now I know that it's actually fake. Wait, excuse me, I'm looking for a brush. Anyways, now I know that it's, like, completely fake. Where the frick is my oh. up? <laughs> for my primer <laughs> but like 
okay yeah but now i know it's completely fake but at the moment i didn't and my mom being my mom was like girl this sounds kind of fishy like are you sure like this is like it because who sends a check nowadays like honestly who sends a check nowadays when you can easily just do it through the bank and people continuously do this like there's a person like oh message me I'm like okay if you have questions just message me here and i'll only do transactions over here and then they completely ignore me probably because they're like I guess I guess I can't scam this person because this person knows <sighs> it's 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 <sighs> people just love scamming oh sorry people just love scamming people and like I have I mean everyone goes through their own problems and everyone has their own issues but like like some people need money or whatever and I get it because I also need money but like really you're you're scamming people like i get it getting a job is hard i know that for a fact right now because i'm trying to get another job and it's nearly impossible um to find another job it's just sorry especially in new york where i'm from it's like jobs what is that they don't exist just doesn't exist <laughs> so i get it it's hard to get jobs but like at the same time like half the time these people are from like weird companies that are scamming companies and it's gross i could have really like and then a lot of these people are like arrogant i'm not trying to say all of them are but like some of these people are like oh no one can get me blah 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 they also put like three different type of emails so you can't really catch them because it's like 20 different emails anyways we communicate through phone and i put i already said that but here is the whole text they sent me i need to get bigger because i cannot read there's too much okay let me try and okay that's still a little okay hi brenda sorry for the late response i was out of town and i also have to rush and visit our daughter who's rushed to the hospital you're going to receive the payment on thursday i got a text from my husband that my daughter's hospital bills funds what english is that i'm sorry Bills funds that were supposed to be issued on a different check were included in the fund sent out to you. Now, this person did a mistake. Earlier they said, oh, you're going to send the rest of the money to me without explaining anything. They just said that. And I completely ignored that red fucking flag. I'm still pissed. I'm still pissed. I don't know what's going out there but i'm so pissed with myself because there's so many red flags so many red flags and i just choose to ignore them like i honestly chose to ignore all these red flags meantime it was completely noticeable that they were just trying to scam the frick out of me and i'm here like that's scamming never heard of her like bro i really i really i'm that dumb i'm that dumb so first of all they never gave me their address ever like ever i can't believe i'm that dumb anyways so basically they said to but yeah so they wanted exactly um 861 which had no extra 20 
no extra 30 for me. So they lied, but they lied about a lot of other things. So, um, <laughs> I don't know why I was pissed of this specific detail, but they lied about a lot of things and I just, I don't know why I trust people. I say I have trust issues, but then again, I go ahead and trust people like this. And it's fucking annoying. I trust people this easily. Like, bro, come on. Like, now, I kind of know everyone's scam. I know it all. No, I don't. I still get scammed half the time, but, you know. I forgot what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and then they also didn't send me their address. I received the check on Wednesday, and I, which was January 23rd, which was a day before I post this. You know what I mean? And they, I kept on trying to use different apps, and it wasn't going through. Like, none of the amounts they were telling me was going through. And then I tried... 350 that one went through and then like once i told them that that amount went through they completely disappeared they kept on asking like oh did the money go through though like like where's your address and i had like many problems to do that and the problem was was because the check that i put in had no funds in it and it was just basically taking out exactly what I had. I was left with $10, bro. Ten fucking dollars in my bank account. And the problem is that the bank I had was like, oh, this considers us fraud. Even I went to the police and made a police report. So that way I can keep my bank account. And no. No. It wasn't. Like, they kept on, like, waiting until I sent everything, and I'm like, I kind of went to the bank, and they told me all the truth, and then, they, um, they told me it was fake, this check was fake, it bounced. I told them, like, oh, this check is fake, and they were just like, just, they were like, oh yeah, I know, but they didn't, like, they just kept on asking, like, hey, is this, the money go through, though? Did the money go through though? And then I was like, yeah. And then they stopped texting me. And then the next day they were like, hello. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want, Mr. Scammer? Like, I blocked them right afterwards. I tried to fix this for a whole week. I went ahead and made a whole police report and I never got that money back. And it's just like, like, bro. And then I had, I owed them like over $12, like my bank at the time, because of a fraud fee, even though I didn't do a fraud. Like, even though I was scammed, they were like, oh no. So that $10, gone. I had no $10. They gave me no $10 back. They're like, oh, it's gone. Okay. You have zero money. I had zero money. So... I had some money and then I just ended up having absolutely no money whatsoever and I'm just like crying and upset and my mom was just like I had the intuition I'm like I know mom shut up like moms no she was like who sends a check like that and more than what you need who does that and I'm like I don't freaking no i'm just here trying to sell a dress which still hasn't got sold <sighs> like someone asked for like off topic but like someone asked for it to be 70 and i put 70 and i was like oh you can purchase it here they, i lowered the price you can go ahead and buy it and they never responded so i put it back to the original price but i'm like That's for me to change it to 70 and you don't give me the nula. So what do you won't buy it? So why should I 
you get them that price that you wanted for birthday sugar. I don't freaking know. Anyways, off topic, I digress. Um, I did the report, but they were like, um, the email just can't be traced if there's no records, like, basically, forget it, you're not getting your money back, and I'm just like, mm, I'm so upset, and then after that, that same week, I kept on getting these emails from uh, my school about the secret shopper, and basically, what you do, which is another scam, they send you a check, right? And then you deposit that check and then you go to whatever department store, whatever, and you post like 500 or 300 on each gift card and mail it. Like I was gonna do it, but then like I researched it and it's a scam, so. I deposited that check, yeah. And it closed my account, yeah. At least I didn't give them the money. And then they kept on, like, asking me. And then other people kept on emailing me about it. And I'm here, like... The scam. This person kept on texting me, like, Hey, it's not, it's not a scam, I promise. It's not a fraudulent check. Like, you'll see... It's, the check is 100% legitimate, and I'm here like, this is why you're blocked. This is honestly why you're blocked. Ugh. Anyways. Just like to get to people. And I'm here like, uh, you're a scam. And he kept on emailing me. I'm just here like, bro. They still email me from time to time, but my um, school email also emailed me that these emails are not, like, they use, like, actual people emails from the actual school. So you're like, oh, hey, uh, this is a real job, like, totally, this is a real job, and they do it to get broke college students like me. Yeah, I was at in school in that time and I was trying to like pay back some loans that I had to get back into school at the time and it's just like What sound was that? <laughs> Jesus off my computer anyway, so might as well. But yeah, so give her the money. She blocks me, I asked. It's like, oh did you get the money? And then they block my ass. I'm like but yeah, good part though, this time I just call my bank and like, someone used my my PayPal and like, robbed me from $200 and sent that to myself. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how could they ever? Technically, I was robbed. So, um, yeah, but yeah, I told my bank I was robbed and they gave me my money. Because PayPal does not help scams. Like, they don't care. Like, they'll do everything not to give you your money back. And I'm here like, my bank saved my ass so many times that I'm just here like, bro, this is why I should have went to you sooner. <laughs> but no, I did this is even a good one. Like, it doesn't... It looks like it's casting a shadow on my face. Oh my god, I look ghostly! I act like I'm all bad. Oh my god, I'm putting on my nails! <laughs> right, so they're gonna have foundation all over it oh no <laughs> no <laughs> why did i do this to myself it's a whole bunch of wasted foundation dude but yeah so 
get my money back and then more scammers come to me and i like i don't know who's legit or not but gladly for the oneness concert i actually i didn't get v vip but i did go to their fan site so who's really winning here <laughs> like i kept on catching scammers and then there was this one scammer who sent me a google doc and has a password on it and i was like oh i'm not giving you your password until like she was i will come and show me the google doc of it and i'll send you the money so she's like sure and then she sent not google doc but the ticket like you know and i sent money and then she's like oh she puts a password on it and i'm here like and the password and she's like you have to send the money first and i'm like okay i've never saw that before and i'm like uh i'm trying to save my money i'm i'm not trying to get scammed and she's like what about you what if you're the scammer i'm here like she projection she's projecting i'm like this person and then I show this person screenshots of the screenshot she sent me that it's all over the internet and that people are using the screenshot be to scan. Oh my gosh, why is this so difficult to open? <coughs> that was not fun. And then she stopped texting me. Probably because I, I figured out that she's a scammer. So she was trying to call me a scammer. Meanwhile, she was the scammer. Yeah, so that's the amount of... I just saw <laughs> my voice. But yeah, that's the amount of scammers that I've been scammed from. And it's crazy that that many scammers scammed me in the span of i don't even know like like a year basically because um the oneness was in november and um the and the dress one was all the way in january which says a lot <laughs> like it happens all the time and i watch videos of this dude who like does the computer like catches scammers and shows them like on stream and stuff and like i'm here like people get scammed a lot and especially during times where there's concerts like people notice that a lot of people want k-pop concert tickets so they go to twitter and scam a whole bunch of people like the amount of scammers on twitter is insane and then there's some people who just like don't even try to look like their account is like k-pop related and i'm here like bro ski you kind of you kind of exposing yourself by not being a k-popper and then it's especially with people trying to sell things they're like oh this is expensive might as well use them i just realized i was gonna do cream contour guess i'm not doing cream contour anymore and i'm doing powder contour because girl can't really do that anymore but yeah a lot of people just I don't get people these days like i get you don't have money and you want money but at the end of the day you're scam trying to scam people and like some jobs are hard i know because i've been through it i'm going through it right now trying to get a new job and it's just it's not like it's gonna get back and bite you in the butt like gladly i got 200 back but the 350 i never got that back 
and I can never go back to that previous bank that I was in. Like, I'm banned. But guess what? I still get messages and I still get calls. And So, yeah. That's a few stories that I had. Um, if you want more story times like these where I do my makeup and also talk about a story time or just things in general, repeating things, or even like um you know like psychology cases because that's like my major and i really like psychology so i can definitely do that um that's definitely what i'm planning to do also i would like to upload saturdays and wednesdays because honestly i feel like that would be a really nice thing to do i can always do different things because honestly i don't want to just do makeup related things i kind of want to do other things too have another story time that i really want to do um i kind of there was this time where i was doing modeling gig and i want to talk about that because that has to do with the same like week that this um scammer thing happened so i definitely like to do that that would be really cool um but yeah that's really it i'll put all the makeup products that i used box below and also i said that i would put it here and also what i described what happened if not then uh forget that i said that but yeah so this is the look the final result i did do my lips my um highlight and then also final touches on my eye look off camera because i finished before I can finish my whole look. So yeah, I hope you guys like these videos and I'll see you the next time. Bye! <laughs>